Delivering quality education. Expanding access to learning. Serving learners' learning needs. Tackling challenges of the present time. Supporting every learner's dream. Reaching young Pagomenos where they are. Today. Philippines advancing in the challenge of distance learning. The official TV based instruction of Deaf at Tagum City. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deaf at TV. Tarana! Good day learners! Welcome to another lesson full of knowledge, skills, and experience. I am your teacher Rosalyn Presno from La Filipina National High School. Join me as we start another fun and exciting lesson in TLE 8. Make sure that you are comfortably seated and be ready with your paper and pen for note taking. Welcome to another lesson in Cookery 8. Let's read first the objectives. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to A. Identify common abbreviations for measurements in cooking. B. Familiarize common equivalents for measurements in cooking. And C. Select substitutions of some ingredients. Which lead us to our most essential learning competency Carry out measurements and calculations in a required task. Are you familiar with some common abbreviations for measurements in cooking? To assess your knowledge on this topic, let us try to answer the following questions to check how much do we know about some common abbreviations for measurements in cooking. Are you ready, students? Let's start! You will identify the correct abbreviation for each unit of measurement. Number 1. What is the cooking abbreviation for cup? A. L. B. C. C, TBSP, or D, KG. The correct answer is letter B, C. Number 2. What is the cooking abbreviation for liter? A, L, B, C, C, TBSP, or D, KG. The correct answer is letter A, L. Number 3. What is the cooking abbreviation for teaspoon? A, G, B, K, G, C, T, B, S, P, or D, T, S, P. The correct answer is letter D. TSP Number 4 What is the cooking abbreviation for gram? A G B K G C T B S P or D T S P 
The correct answer is letter A, G. Number 5. What is the cooking abbreviation for kilogram? Letter A, L. Letter B, C. Letter C, T, V, S, P. Or D, K, G. The correct answer is letter D, K, G. Did you get the perfect score? If yes, thumbs up! You have successfully answered our pretest. Let us proceed to our discussion. Recipes are full of culinary codes like abbreviations and measurements, distinguishing between the different cooking abbreviations and their proper unit of measurement can help in making sure that your dish comes out exactly as planned. Although some recipes spell out measurements, but a lot of cookbooks use abbreviations. Now, let us identify the common abbreviations for measurements in cooking. For tablespoon, the cooking abbreviations are T or TBSP. For teaspoon, the cooking abbreviations are T or TSP. For cup, the cooking abbreviations are big letter C or small letter C. For gram, the cooking abbreviation is G. For kilogram, the cooking abbreviation is KG. For liter, the cooking abbreviations are big letter L or small letter L. For pound, the cooking abbreviation is LB. For milliliter, the cooking abbreviation is ML. For ounce, the cooking abbreviation is OZ. And for pint, the cooking abbreviation is PT. At this point, let us be familiar with some of the common equivalents for measurements in cooking. 16 tablespoons is equal to 1 cup and is also equal to 250 milliliters. 8 tablespoons is equal to 1 half cup and is also equal to 125 milliliters. 4 tablespoons is equal to 1 fourth cup and is also equal to 60 milliliters. 3 teaspoons is equal to 1 tablespoon and is also equal to 15 milliliters. 1 cup is equal to 8 fluid ounces and is also equal to 250 milliliters. Let us proceed to the substitutions of some ingredients. The following are some of the substitutes that may be used to get a finished product similar to the original. For 2 tablespoons or 30 milliliters of flour, you can use 1 tablespoon or 15 milliliters of cornstarch. For 1 cup or 250 milliliters of sifted cake flour, you can use 1 cup minus 2 tablespoons or 30 milliliters of sifted all-purpose flour. For 1 cup or 250 milliliters of whole milk, you can use 1 half cup or 125 milliliters of evaporated milk plus one half cup or 125 milliliters of water. For one cup or 250 milliliters of sour milk, you can use one cup or 250 milliliters of fresh milk plus one tablespoon 
or 15 milliliters of vinegar or lemon juice. All right, students. Now, we will check your understanding by answering the following questions to master what we have learned today. Are you ready? Let's start! Number 1. What is the cooking abbreviation of gram? Is it G or KG? What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is G. Number two. Three teaspoons is equivalent to blank. Is it one tablespoon or two tablespoons? What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is one tablespoon. Number three. One cup of sour milk can be substituted with one cup of fresh milk plus one tablespoon of blank. Is it vinegar or evaporated milk? What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is vinegar. Did you get the perfect score? Wow, that's great! Good job, everyone! Now, let us evaluate what you have learned. Choose the correct answer among the given choices. Number 1. You are going to cook your favorite meal. It was written in the cookbook that you will need 500 milliliters of vegetable oil for the recipe. You need to use your measuring cup for it. If one cup is equivalent to 250 milliliters, how many cups is equivalent to 500 milliliters? Letter A, two cups. B, three cups. C, four cups. Or D, Five cups. The correct answer is letter A, two cups. Number two. Although some cookbooks spell out some unit of measurements, you notice that the one you bought did not. You are having a difficulty in identifying one particular cooking abbreviation. What do you think? Does the cooking abbreviation LB refers to? A. Pint B. Pound C. Ounce Or letter D. Cup The correct answer is letter B. Pound Number 3 In cooking the dish you want, you will need 30 milliliters of soy sauce. You only have a tablespoon in your kitchen that you can use in measuring. If one tablespoon is equal to 15 milliliters, how many tablespoons is equal to 30 milliliters? A. Two tablespoons B. Three tablespoons C. Four tablespoons or D, 5 tablespoons. The correct answer is letter A, 2 tablespoons. Number 4. You do not have any flour left. As written in your cookbook, you will need 2 tablespoons or 30 milliliters of flour. You need to use it in the dish that you are going to cook. What do you think is the best substitution for two tablespoons of flour? A. One liter of cornstarch B. One cup of cornstarch C. One teaspoon of cornstarch Or D. One tablespoon of cornstarch 
The correct answer is letter D. One tablespoon of cornstarch. Number five. You are having a difficulty in identifying one particular cooking abbreviation in the cookbook of your mother. What unit of measurement does the cooking abbreviation KG refers to? A. Kilogram B. Kilometer C. Kilo or D. Kilowatt The correct answer is letter A. Kilogram How's your score? Did you get the perfect score? Great job, everyone! It is very important that we know the common abbreviations for measurements, the common equivalents for measurements, and the substitutes of some ingredients because it will greatly help you when you are cooking. And also, it can help in making sure that your dish comes out exactly as planned. I hope that you have learned a lot in our session today. I am your teacher on air, Teacher Rosalind Presno, saying, The secret ingredient of a happy life is a one heaping teaspoon of love. See you again next time only here at Salida La Filipina TV. God bless everyone!